At the recent Royal Easter, Kate wore a blue dress by designer Airdem extremely bold. This makes many people admire, but not with Meghan. It is known that she contacted this designer to create the costume she will wear at the upcoming coronation. But Airdem refused because she didn't deserve it. The Princess of Wales looked poised and elegant as she brought the sunshine on Easter Sunday, cutting an elegant figure in a sapphire-hued coat dress to attend the Easter matins service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. Princess Kate, 41, was joined by her husband Prince William, 40, and their three children Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and little Prince Louis, 4. The royal looked radiant as ever in her figure skimming Mayfair number, dressing for the spring sunshine in one of her favorite designers, Catherine Walker. The royal mother of three styled her chocolate brown tresses in elegant tumbling curls beneath an electric blue pillbox hat from Locke and Company, elevating her natural beauty with a rosy blush, bronze eyeshadow and a soft pink lip. Princess Kate's unrivaled style is rarely complete without a perfectly coordinated set of accessories, of which the glamorous royal wore sapphire and pearl drop earrings set in a gold clasp, along with her iconic diamond and sapphire engagement ring, which formerly belonged to Princess Diana. All eyes, however, were on the Princess of Wales' immaculate red manicure. According to royal etiquette, fake nails or brightly colored nails are reportedly not appropriate for public appearances. Never one to put a foot out of line, the royal rarely deviates from royal rules and regulations. So, fans were somewhat surprised to see Kate test her limits with a daring scarlet manicure. Her daughter, Princess Charlotte, followed in her mother's sartorial footsteps, looking adorable in a smart floral dress from Rachel Riley and pastel blue tights. Prince George and Prince Louis looked equally smart in matching navy suit jackets. It's not the first time the princess has stepped out in the bold and beautiful cobalt number. Last year, the then Duchess of Cambridge wore the brilliant blue ensemble to attend the Commonwealth Day service with her husband Prince William. Long before the feud between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton made international hair-pulling headlines, the two were ready to claw each other's eyes out, over couture, a new report reveals. In 2017, London designer Airdem Miralio Glue caused a rift between the sisters-in-law when actress and fashion blogger Markle, recently engaged to Prince Harry, suddenly found herself persona non grata at one of her favorite labels. The reason? Middleton had an arrangement to receive VIP access to Miralio Glue's outfits, also favored by Nicole Kidman, Naomi Watts, and Claire Foy. There was a family fashion hierarchy when it came to the royals getting first dibs on designers, according to The Telegraph, which detailed one of Meghan's first experiences getting tangled up in palace red tape, an incident, according to the paper, not included in Harry's seismic new memoir Spare. Morali Oglu's Airdem label was established in 2005 and quickly cemented itself as a statement brand for its romantic floral prints and elegantly understated sequined dresses. Middleton had been a longtime fan, famously wearing the designer's looks on a number of royal engagements, including a midi off the shoulder frock with frayed edges and a fluted skirt in 2018, and as an anchor designer while pregnant with Prince George and Princess Charlotte, accentuating her baby bump in figure fitting floral dresses. Markle, too, was a fan of the designer, well before she met Harry sporting his designs while working on the Canada-filmed legal drama suits. She stepped out in the brand's Davina dress from the 2015 fall-slash-winter collection during an appearance on the Today Show in 2016, re-wearing the frock for a Christmas lunch with the late Queen in 2018, according to The Telegraph. Airdem Moralio Glue was one of Meghan's absolute favorites, but even after Harry had put a ring on it, Kate, who was already a client, continued to get priority, the paper reported.